greatest right now. If you feel me, you ain't got a choice. I ain't do no promo, still made all that noise. This shit gonna be different. I set my intentions. I promise to slap all that. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Texas, USA, live from Toyota Center. Good to have you with us tonight. And this building has a lot of history for my man, DC. Beat Gustafson here, Roy Nelson back in the day. We'll see what's in store for these athletes. This arena's been great for the American Kickboxing Academy. King Velasquez was able to retain his title in this arena, too. And also home to the greatest NBA franchise in history, the Houston oh, Rockets. Tonight, they will blow. Look, tonight, the UFC blows the roof off the building. But every night, James Harden is now Russell Westbrook put on a show in this fantastic arena. Spoken like a true Golden State Warriors fan. Clutch City, baby. Clutch City. Right now. Clutch City. Nice guillotine to tip here. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a Von Flute choke here. Brilliant submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that he's going to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh. All right, so a high amplitude to, oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent ready. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the court? Look at him attacking that guillotine. Fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. So we probably lost that round. All right, here we go now with round two. Kamaru Usman okay, round two, versus Ben Askren. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, uppercut right on the chin. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, half-guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal. All right, so he's got his head here, looking to set up the guillotine choke now. Transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. And landing with 29% accuracy thus far against Ben Askren. 45 seconds remain in the round. Head kick lands. And they separate. A lot of power on display from Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Just misses with the jab there. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it. In Some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces. situation with this fighter you're potentially playing with five close guard all right bottom fighter here maybe looking to hip escape dc nice move into half guard shades of daniel cormier slicing through that goal unbelievable i love it like a knife through butter what a great job passing 35 total strikes have now landed for wow. ben Ash. oh and there's that double leg takedown that is guard pass just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. Let's go. We got a scramble here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Close guard. A little high 
high elbow guillotine. Well, Ben Askren, one of the most decorated pinfall guys in collegiate wrestling history. You can't pin a guy in mixed martial arts, but looks like he's well on his way to another submission win here tonight, DC. And this might just be a matter of time. submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second for the third round. For the winner by submission, Dan Bunkin!